What's up everybody, this is Cryptic Coding here, back with another game development episode on this channel today. We'll be building something that looks like this. If you come to the player, the player will be destroyed by no time. Okay. Um, so, uh, with the further ado, let's get started. First of all, you want to add a Raycast 2D node to your enemy node. So, how can we do that? Uh, enemy node go ahead and click every enemy in the scene and then go ahead and add a raycast 2d boom you will add a raycast 2d make sure the raycast 2d is on enabled extends parent and then the main thing is cast 2 you can play around with these values let's say 35 let's see how it looks like this okay so um So um, that's how uh, you'll do that. So next step is the collision mask. Make sure it's the default collision mask and stuff. And everything is will, will be normal. Now, uh, now go to the enemy script. Go down. The main thing is these values. First, we have this line of code is the main code, right? So if Raycast 2D does it's colliding, it's colliding means it's colliding equals to true. It just it's the same as this, right? Oh goodness sake. Okay. Okay. So if this colliding is true, next step is if Raycast 2 get collided, if we get the collider of it. First it's colliding, then we will get the collider. That's the stuff. Now we now we need to add a player. We need to get the player first. So how can we get the player? To get the player, you need to have get parent. To get parent. Now it's gonna be a little confusing. What the heck is that? Now get parent will get this enemy holder, and then another get parent will get the world. And then get node, we can get the node player times player body. So player and then player body. Next, player to destroy. Now, uh, now is this function is in built to go though? No, it's not. It's the built-in, it's not the built-in function. It's what you, this is called user defined functions. So you go to player, we have the function called destroy and we have the query, it means destroy this game object. And collision 2D is disable to true. Collision 2D disable to true is actually disabling the collision, so we can like jump up. Now that's the bug I we fixed. I think the Godot Engine 3.1 release was fixed, so it's good to have here. But you can just do this; it will not affect anything. So, uh, player to destroy, we destroy the game object, and you can see this line makes sense, right? Reload clear current city, actually restarting the current scene, and that's basically it. Now, another thing that you guys will face is these. So, what I faced also. First is if you follow my tutorials, you will have something that Rayka Studio does scale.x at times equals to minus one, uh, and Rayka Studio does scale.x times equals uh, to minus one these two lines are important really really important so make sure to add this line to actually up, uh, made it opposite to the di di direction what we are facing and if this is enemy direction minus one then direct studio dot scale times minus one as well whenever you put this line you have to put this line remember that whenever you put this line you have to put this line now this thing will be really really fun to do okay now let's go ahead and see what we is, is the result this is basically so simple okay it's so simple if we go come on oh there you go boom that's how it works in the next tutorial will i'll show you how can you kill this en enemy so make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like and it's really really appreciated and with the further ado I'll, I'll quit the video yeah thank you so much for watching and peace
girl about a ten. I should fuck her in the bands. 